Hi guys, I am Isa, and today I'm going to learn how to use a JavaScript framework called anim.js. Anyways, first thing you have to do is to download it. You have to open this website. Then you press the download button. And then you copy it to the pass of your HTML file. And then in your HTML, you have to write script source anim slash lib slash anim dot min dot js. So, anyways, the first thing we need is an element to animate. So, so what to make a div is to class of div. I would just say dot div. I would just say background red. I would I could say right to red. And then I would say body background. He black. So anyways, I'm going to go to the dot div, which I would say width, with 50px, and height, with 50px. So now we have this square. So, we have to animate it. So to animate it, we have to write and in, and then, I'm going to say target. I'm going to say dot div, which means this stuff is the class of div. So then I'm going to say translate x fifty. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to. Link the script.js file. Now you can see that the square moves. You'll also be able to change the easing. So here's just one of the many easings. You can say easing. Ease in out quad. Now you can see that it's different. At least, we will not add the loop. Let's say that loop to true. So now, now there's just going to be looping. And there are also other things like translate y. And rotate. Also rotate X and rotate Y. So anyways. But if I add multiple of these elements. You'll see that all of them will do the same thing. They have the same class. But if one of them doesn't have the class of div. Then. Yeah. The starting in the animation is not are not gonna apply to it. So I'm gonna say this one to div two, this one will be the three, this one will be the four, this one will be the five. Div two will have a background of white blue. The diff three, the diff four, have 
back on the yeah, white yellow. There's a white screen. Right in here, it was not the right div. Comma dot div two. Comma dot div three. Comma dot div four. No, I was not to change the targets. So I'm going to turn the targets into a list. I'm going to also add what's div two. I'm going to add dot div three and dot div four. If you want the animation to happen to everything, you can also you can also write. Asterisk. So the animation is happening to everything, but we don't want to use asterisk because the animation is also happening to the body. And if the animation happens to the body, then the things that are being animated are not really going to show. So one. So that's what I'm going to learn about is staggering. So go to a new staggering. Let's write anime dot stagger. Let's just say 20. Now you can see what it does. Let me just do this here so I rotate so that you can see. It looks like that. And if I increase the stagger, it looks like that. This will add staggering to other things. So now it's like that. And the last thing I'm going to learn about to this tutorial are keyframes. I'm going to say keyframes. That has to be a list. So the first item of the list is going to be all of this. And the second item of the list is going to be all of this, except that these parameters are set to zero. Now let me also add the loop zero. I mean loop true. Now it's like that. Also change the duration. We we'll say duration. Five thousand. One thousand milliseconds is one second. You can see that the animation takes longer to finish. So, anyways, here yeah, we just add a div class grid, and I'm going to add. We're going to copy. We're going to copy this, and we're going to have more grids. It's going to be a grid two, grid three, grid four, and grid five. This one's a script.js. I'll remove the keyframes. So scale anime dot stagger two. So we're going to make the scale to be a list. I'm going to say value. We're going to say value. Dot one. I'm going to say duration. Going to be 500, and the other one, the value, will be will be minus negative. I mean, uh, 
negative 0 0.1 and the duration will be 1200 I'll fix that so I'm going to change this from negative 0 0.1 to 1 now it looks like that. I'm also going to change the easing. I'm going to say easing. Ease in outside. So now it looks like that. So anyways, I'm going to say dot grid to let's say position relative let's say top let's say twenty px let's say right. 60 px okay I'm going to change the position to absolute so now we can see that it's here I'm going to change this right to left now stay in. So now it's like that. Now what did do the same to all the others. Dot grid three, dot grid four, and dot grid five. I'm just going to change the left. So this one's going to be 120. Actually, this one's going to be 120. This one will be 180. This will be 240. I'm going to change this from 60 to 65. So now they're like that. So in my script.js, I'm going to say delay enemy.stagger. I'm going to say 500. I'm going to say 50. I'm going to say from center. Now looks like that. I'm also going to say grid. So we have to write the number that's at the center. I'm just going to remove this grid. So in here, I'm going to change this to ease out sign. I'm going to change this to ease in out quad. So now it looks like that. So I'm going to say grid two comma three. So 
now it's so now it starts from here so at least that's the end of today's tutorial if you enjoyed please like and subscribe so bye